Hello, hello. Welcome back to Tactics Ogre. Let us cling together. One vision mod. I'm excited. Today, we're going to be cackling Palace of the Dead, Altar of the Beyond. Uh, let's read the description. The hundredth level of the Palace of the Dead. This place has the feel of an ancient ceremonial space to it. I'm excited. Uh, this map looks very interesting. I hope... Uh, I, I made like a little bit... I, I kind of picked and chose my units to make this a little bit easier. I hope it will make it easier. I don't know. But let's go ahead and go. It looks to be like a little bit small. So I don't know how Nibeth is going to keep away. I hope I hope I can just rush Nibeth is the thing. So... I also really wish I had like a vocoder, like a like a stream deck or something, so I could so I could put like filters on my voice for Nibeth's wraith voice, but whatever, or not his wraith voice, his uh, lich voice, but we're we're good. Okay, so I, I did choose these guys. Hopefully there will be dialogue. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Pals of the Dead, Altar of the Beyond. Impressive to have come all this way. I have suspect you are led by the same dark sh that shadows my path. Did you know that I have discovered the purpose for which this temple was constructed? It was built for people like you. Ah, but I see you are not concerned with such matters. If you insist on playing the hero to come to vanquish me, I shall be happy to act my part. Denizens of the Abyss, from the ink of the Blackest Night, I summon you. Darkness to me! Oh cool, we get to watch this. Hopefully there's hopefully there's like 20 of these guys that pop up so that we will, we'll watch this for a while. Okay, so we got a Wraith and then a and then a regular like ghost. Is one of those an Incubus and one of those a uh, regular, uh, get Gremlin? I don't think so. I think they're all good. This conflict was foreordained, you know? It all is laid out upon the wheel of fate, free from the meddling hands of mortals. A little bit. He's level 31. Okay. Oh, they're all level 30. It... Hmm, really? It might be a fake level 30. Because I'm doing the same amount of damage I'd normally be doing, right? So it might be, it might be fake. We'll see. Oh, those dragons are gonna be a fucking huge problem. Canopus, you go over here. I really should have put him further to the little right, like up, like over here. Could I have hit that? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I have to go. I'd have to go here anyway. Okay, that's fine. Can you hit this dragon? Probably. Nice. He did it. Kashua, sweetie, I'm gonna need you to eat your magic leaf. Like, right the fuck now. I'm probably gonna feed it to and one to her with, uh... Voltaire as well. You also need a magic leaf. So go ahead and grab one. We'll see if we can't lock these guys down in the lava so that they can't be annoying. Did Antigone have lava walk? I think it's the earth dragon, like, ability, right? Get blocked. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna go ahead and keep him in the back until he until he gets shot enough to uh, build up his MTP to do a finisher, or just like nuke somebody. Did I just have everybody like 
do stuff like this. Probably shouldn't be wasting emperors, actually. Let's, I'll just keep it on him. Why not? He's frontline anyway. Ow. We're going to do this. I mean, this guy can just go around, right? But apparently he could just walk right through me, which is weird. I wonder if it doesn't block Lava Walk or something. Huh. Let's do this. I think you actually do need a Men Seed, buddy. Well, it's 133. Yeah. Go ahead and give Kashua a Mend Leaf as well. A Magic Leaf as well. One, two, three, four, five. Sweetie, I'm going to need to hit, the, hit this all three times, please. That would make this a lot easier. Nope. Just twice. Twice is pretty good, though. 200 damage is pretty fucking good. I can't complain about 200 damage. Okay, what are we doing here now? We're buffing these guys. To be fair, I do have an off healer and a kind of off healer in uh, the people who can use a little bit more magic, but we'll see. Fuck. That's, those things are long range. Tell you what, when the map permits it, like, those things are really good, which is why I wish there was a... Like a thing, right? Let's do this. Let's kill this thing as fast as possible. Nice. Very good. This probably is not the smartest thing I'll ever do, but... I actually think Murden needs health. Yeah, he does. Okay. Not that much, though. Probably shouldn't be keeping her... Probably should be keeping her as far back as possible. As I can. Set the seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. May my prayers become a bacon. We're gonna do this. Finally, holy shit. Can I hit you from here? Nope, just barely though. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go back. I know I probably should not be doing that because I could have trajectory theoretically on myself, but we're gonna get up our CP a little bit. By doing this. I could hit Devold in the back and then kill this person, probably. No, not really. That's not really an option, is it? 
Um. Here, just throw a mending seed at Cap. You know what? Mend mending solve. I'm not gonna fuck with it. I'm not gonna fuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal him to full. Ow. There we go. Okay, let's try to go for this. Let's try to kill this dragon in the back. Can you give me enough TP to get the to get Guardian Force up, please? He can. Thank you. Why you gotta bully me? Okay. Luckily, the dragon's on the other side, so... Go to sleep. Okay. Didn't go to sleep. Um, Devold needs the most health right now. I'm just gonna keep these ladies back here. Until something stupid happens. Well, good thing I did Guardian Force right there. One, two, three, four. Can I steal MP from anybody? No. Maybe you. But that would be like six MP. Might still be worth it. One, two, three, four. Well, that person, then that person would be have the chance to like kill me. Maybe I'll do it next turn. mad? No. Can those guys even move? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, um, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Never mind. I can't do anything. Uh, well. Kind of still, what, kind of wish he didn't, instead of instill light, he had, uh, whatever the other one is, uh, what is the other one called? I I don't know why I'm blanking on this. It's uh I see it's resonance. He sh the resonance. So who's next? Yeah, you probably need a heal cap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna instill air. Real quick. There go! There's both dragons down. There's Nibeth. This does like 10% of his health. Wait, I'm dumb. Hold on. I'm silly. But still, it's decent damage, I guess. Better than nothing. And it's consistent, so. Yeah, that's over 10% of his health. Okay, well. Do you have stop ward? No, of course not. Why would you? Um, well, the only thing really to do, unless you have, you do have access to, uh, the thing, so go ahead and do it. Okay. That wasn't too useful, but it's better than nothing. God, I wish you had dispel right now. Not terrible damage on him, actually.
Cool. Yeah. Well, now I know who needs to be fucking healed. Okay. Really also need to get rid of this uh, bound, but unfortunately nobody over there has, like, bound wards, so... Except for you. But you can actually hit people. Should I do this or just do liberate? Nice, get parried. I actually would have preferred if you got hit so I could do Guardian Force again, which is going to probably going to kill Cap now, honestly, because they're all going to go for him. Maybe if I kill the Golems, it won't be as bad. Okay, that was kind of useless, but whatever. That wouldn't even kill. Okay. That's the best option then. Very good. Okay, do I... I guess everybody else is about to move up, so... You know what? Just stay still for right now. And then we're going to... Uh, unlock you. Oh, actually, you have magic. I forgot. Yeah, for some reason he is awakened, but the other one doesn't. But, uh... Voltaire doesn't. I keep forgetting to give it to him. Should I be doing this? Probably. That's in, it seems fun. You then after it. I mean, it's not going to do anything to him, but to him it's pretty good, so... Can he even get off that space? I don't think he can. He can't get... No, he can't. He's completely stuck there. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going right here. Will that work? No. I need to heal too. Okay, Nibeth is going to summon darkness here, I think, next turn, so... Unfortunate, but... It's gonna happen eventually, so... Okay. No? He's gonna mend leaf up? Does he have summon darkness, is the thing. Also, what what weapons does he have? I need to check. Does he have a unique weapon or something? This sinister wand is top of the skull card from a crystal pumpkin. Blind Guardian. Blind Bar Magus Robe is not unique, but I I've never seen that before, and I've never seen that before. I'm pretty sure this is a just an item that he has. He does not have dar Summon Darkness. Okay, well that makes that a lot easier. Okay, I think I don't think this is that hard then. Actually, not terrible damage. Should I just step one back and then... This guy, what is this card? The Empress? Is that MP? Yeah. Have someone else pick that up. I think if I go here, I can I can fly over there. Yeah, definitely. But I can't fly over there from here. I think you could still shoot him here from here, though. Very good. Okay. What we're gonna do, lads, is we're gonna fuck you up. 
Then I'm going to activate Guardian Force. I know I don't, probably don't need to, but... I think it's just, just the safest option. Does anybody need healing right now? If not, I'm just going to save my MP. Okay, I'm going to save the MP then. Could he have hit if he was, like, uh, one space away? Yeah, he can hit from there. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Because he's probably going to get out of bound next turn. That's what I'd guess. No? Well, the, okay. Th yeah, he did. Mostly because he didn't have any MP to do anything else, so... Oh, he didn't move. Well, that's because the AI doesn't know it can move after, I don't think. Like, it doesn't know it can... It has enough MP to do anything else. Ow! Shit. Oh, he does have summon darkness. What the fuck? Is it a spell? It might be a spell. Okay. Well, that's a little bit rougher, because now he's over there. It's a lot harder to hit him. Here you go, bud. At least he didn't summon any golems to make it harder for me to move around. Why did you get to move? Whatever. What if I did this? And all of you got bound. What if none of you got bound? Well, that would be equally as cool, right? That dragon is absolutely going to go around and fuck up my units. Give me your M MP. I theoretically should be able to hit him from here. With just a spark sphere. Okay. What is rank of fire is that, dude? Rank 7? Nice. She might be the first person. She's probably going to be the first person to max out a level of rank of fire. Of some ranks. It's like, uh, right there. I don't know what I could, what status I could do on Nibeth, even. We'll see later. Uh, I'll have... Bertrand do it. Um... Nah, I think I'm good. What you got? I love how it also uses his defense as well. The, uh, Guardian Force. Fuck. Please hit. Fuck! Okay, you need to die.
Well, he has enough for another Guardian Force, so we can do that. I would like another Rally as well, but... Okay, I got, a, I got a Blind Guardian, which is pretty cool. We're gonna do this. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do the other one next turn. But right now I need to heal. Heal! Unfortunately, none. most of the units aren't undead over there, so I have to do a single heal. Boulder Toss and Ring of Wards. Okay. Pretty good meme. Uh, could I have done anything better? I don't think so. Yeah, just as long as you stay in Guardian Force range, I'll, you'll be fine. Oh god, I wish he had True Strike. <sighs> How bad is it? Yeah, it's 25. Okay, you were 22. Not that bad. Can you hit somebody from there, Malololo? No. I don't know why they put them there. I think it's just funny. Okay. Well, he only got 61 back because of Guardian Force, so that's pretty good. Uh, what the? Why is he allowed to do that again? Okay. Oh my god. I really should have brought more estranged units. God. God bless. Could I have stolen MP from anybody? I don't think so. No one's close enough. Right here, I'm gonna have to do like a level one firestorm or something. Which is fine. Oh, fuck. Canopus need healing. Badly. This might be a while, because he... Because... I'm gonna have to get over there and heal Canopus too. Please like bind one of them so they're not as annoying. Fuck. Why would it do why would it work? I don't I don't even I don't even know why I would ask it to work. What he leveled up? Harry? Holy shit. Nice. I would literally love to go over there and get Fervor off, but...
Well, at least it stopped him. Is this just gonna be me like not hitting these guys forever? That, that's what it seems like it's gonna be. Please let me hit them once! Come on! This is incredibly irritating. Okay, um... It's just Canopus up there that needs healing. And I can't reach him anyway, so... The only solution would be to, like, get to Neb up there and, like, start devouring his eight MP. There's one. Hopefully I'll be getting tons of items at least. Well, I do need to do this. Are you about to go, motherfucker? Yes. Shit. Um, well, he doesn't have enough TP to do anything, so. Hopefully. Should've been getting back that health for a while. There's not really a place to hide, is there? Tasha was about to go. I mean, the only thing I can really do is go down here. Get dodged on. Okay. These guys have MP? Yes, they do, okay. Well, I'm devouring it. As I make my way up here slowly. Okay. That was shit damage. I don't know what I expected, but it was shit damage. Stop skipping. I know it's tempting, but you gotta stop. We really need to get True Strike up in here. Does anybody have, like, True Strike? I don't think they do. We're just gonna have to keep whittling down his health with stuff like this. Get parried. Parried? Nope. Oh, shit. He might do a summon here as well, eventually. Or that. That's not the worst, I guess. That could, have been, that could have gone a lot worse, yeah. I really missed the true strike. to do this. Okay. What's that card? Agility? Pick it up. I do need to double attack here. Uh, 
go. I know I probably need healing, but this is getting annoying, so. Thirty-three twenty-five. I mean, it'll be easier to hit this guy, right? Kind of, but I kind of want to get the guardian. I kind of want to keep like guardian force in the middle. Okay. Not that I could do guardian force without getting hit, without hitting somebody. So. Oh, you know what I can do? I can do Conviction. It's a 25% chance to hit. Give me your MP. You know what I can also do? Aura. And then I guess Canopus is gonna finish it off. Because why the fuck wait? Bye. Uh, does does this even affect warp? Does let in affect warp at all? I don't know. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to wait around anymore. So, for bat for worse things to happen. So, I'm glad nobody went down though. Pretty good. Oh, uh, yes, so this is dark. I am becoming one with you now. It, it is it is ecstasy. Yes, the dark has chosen me. The bodies of the unwilling will become my vessels. I am immortal. Dead. Hey, we did it. Not without an extreme annoyance at the end, but... You know... Warlock Robe, Secrets of the Master, Daedalus Pinion, Daedalus Rack, Palace Guide 3rd Edition, and Ring of Evasion. Very, very nice. Berserker leveled up. Uh, and Geomancer leveled up. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, I was really hoping that Oelius and Devold had more dialogue there, but, you know, I did miss there was dialogue with Devold. I looked it up. On a fa and a, there was a FAQ that said Devil did have some dialogue on that map. Luckily, luckily Olelius is there, and Devil technically didn't have any, like, more dialogue. So, well, that was like uh, two months ago. So, or like three months ago. So, yay, we're finally out. Uh, I don't think there's literally nothing more I could do at this point. I don't. I. I literally the only option is to withdraw. Let's read the. Let's read the war report though. Just check what's happening. Anything new? Anything new talk-wise? No. No go no no gossip for him? Or just a little gossipy goose. <laughs> I don't know. Uh the witch Beelzebub. buff. I think this just says uh she was slain after a clash with after a number of clashes with resistance forces. However, if her final words are to be believed, her soul will live beyond the loft for corporeal form. Okay. The necromancer Nibeth. After using the Ring of the Dead to transform himself into a Lich, the Dark drew him to the depths of the Palace of the Dead. The Resistance finally defeated him and became one of the Dark, vanishing from the land. Ow. Oh. Unfortunate. Okay. Let's see. It is custom one more years bound for the Palace of the Dead for distribute the word possessions. Okay. So, yeah, that's the only thing left. Let's go look up the items that I got first. Uh, we got... Um, something. It was, uh, what would we get? We got, uh, that should be under the consumables, right? It was like the... Did I pass it already? Or was I just blind? I think I, I, think I blinded it. Hold on. Yeah, there it is. Uh, extensively revised exhaustive compendium of the palace of the dead seems to serve the same function as a shift stone might be useful for slipping out of battle okay 
that you I believe you can use these to either flee, of course, or teleport to the other other parts of the Palace of the Dead. So, um, I don't actually know where I got these from as well. I don't know where I got the Seal of Rebirth. Uh, and so this is a revive, like it, it just revives, straight revives a dead person to full health, which is pretty good. I don't know, am I reviving with one heart? I don't know. Let's see, does it say... Oh, no, it, it gives them to... It it, get, it changes a skeleton to a human. Okay. It's not what I thought it did. Never mind. Book of the Dead does the opposite. Zombie into a skeleton of grass. Okay. Exhaustive Companion of the Palace of the Dead seems to serve the same function as a shift stone. Okay. And then we also got a Daedalus Rack, which it might be in treasure. It might be ingredients as well. Daedalus Rack, Daedalus Pinion... Gear fashion from Master Smith, the Ancient Dragon Lord, several different sizes and shapes of these are known to exist, though they are impossible to make with current technology techniques. Okay. And it's like, oh, and I also got uh, Secrets of the Master, which is uh, like the top level gear. So I, I, I didn't have to worry about them being level 31. They just I guess they were just a fake level 31. Or they were shitty level 31, I don't know. I think this is the same thing, but cool. This actually shows you the quickest path to getting down. So what that would be, like that one, that one. If you want to know the quickest path to getting down, that would be that. That's the quickest path. Okay. I get. I could just choose retreat from the menu, but I think it's funnier to... I think it's better to just walk him, watch him walk up. Whew. Wow. Hey, we're back out. Holy shit, it's been a while. Uh, I think the next stop is just to do the story. I don't think there's anything left. Well, I mean, in the in the playlist, I put the other stuff afterward, but that's already complete in this playthrough. Spoilers. Um, but uh, I think we go to Royal City of Heim next, so we can either go to a resume Iro Iroms of Canyon. Or Boulder Sands next, so I'll decide which one. Probably doesn't matter at all, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's been fun, but it's been tedious. See ya. Wait, well, I could go look up the shop. What's in the? We could go look up what's in the shop first, I guess. Let's watch me get a brain of battle. Yep. Wasting my fucking time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're almost there. Bring it into this castle. Let's go. Let's look at the shop. Let's look at the options. Secrets of the Master. Grissogram we can make. I don't think that we can wield it at all, but that's pretty cool. A Soma Blade of pure force that seemingly splits into multiple copies. Forged by the Dragon Lord Artisan Daedalist. So, um, the Chrysogram hits twice. Is its gimmick. It's really good. It's really good. I don't think it's quite as powerful as other swords, but it hitting twice, it's basically like at least 150 percent power as powerful as some of the endgame swords. So, if you if you can dual we deal two of these, you become a chainsaw essentially. Really cool. Gorgon shield. That's pretty cool. Make an Icarus bow. See, these are the high level, highest level single handed bows. Palace guides. You can make them. Okay. Not bad. So you use these to teleport to the end of the thing. And we also got some Heaven's Forks, so we can go ahead and end. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and uh, do, like, start doing general battles, but I don't, I don't really want to right now. I think those are high levels anyway. We'll do those at the end of the game. Because we need. We also need a ton of Daedalus Pinions and Daedalus Rex. I want to kind of do them back to back anyway. So yeah. Oh, let's, let's check out the other items, actually. Vakenheim, a winged axe once made the worth of its namesake before its fall. The crafting method was recovered and improved by Dragonlord Smiths. Okay, this is a bunch of Dragonlord stuff. Um, yeah, Sharper's Touch. I, I can tell you what these do, actually. Let me open up the item. Let me open up the item guide real quick. I have it open already. Cool. So what was that? Let's look. Let's go from the top, I guess, to tell you exactly what they do. What is this? Heavy. A massive knuckle duster. Great power of the giants. Forged by the dragon lords. Artisan Daedalus. Yarn Glowfar. So this is a fist. It is an earth fist. I don't know why it says heavy, but whatever. 
and it does it does knock back instead of the normal um instead of the normal uh fist damage which is usually poison or mp drain and then does golemy and has golemy plus two but for some reason i don't know i guess it's a, it's a golem fist so that's why and we got chrysogram which i already told you what you did let me see if it does that as an additional effect it does not it just has a double strike which you know it should, that should be the only thing it has And this, uh, this is Dragon Slayer. Let's see. This one is... It does dragon... It does 80% dragon effectiveness, which is probably some of the highest in the game as far as effectiveness goes. So it's, it's like 100% 80 damage. 180% damage to dragons, which is crazy. It just, it just has... It has guaranteed stagger as well instead of just 60%. And it's part of this Dragon Slayer set. Uh, uh, what does that say? A force lance forged by the Dragonlord Artisan Daedalus releases a potent shockwave able to reach distant targets. So this one... Uh, what is it called? Saskia? Okay. It just, it's one to four. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. So if you want a max, max melee range... Holy shit. Holy shit. I think, that's the, I think four is the highest melee range you can get. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but geez. And then this is the Goddess Unleashed. Extends her grace by the double-edged sword. Betweathed, betrayed, beloved. At last, I am third. So this is, I think this is a reference to something else, like Shadowrun or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I, he explained it in the, the mod author, Rakes, explained it in the, uh, in the read me, but I don't remember exactly. I read that a long, I read that a while ago. So that's pretty cool, though. I am going to use it because it's just, it's just like the, the idea of like a flaming... Katana is pretty cool, so I might I will use it, but we'll see who gets to use it. I have a cool idea for who's gonna use it, but you know. It is a really good sword. It does uh it, I believe it gives you like a really great it gives what does her blessing do? I have to look it up actually. Um uh, Is it this one? Yes. So it does her blessing, which is a self AOE that is quicken for just it inflicts quicken on self, uh, damages thirty three percent of your health, and then uh, frightens uh, allies around you in two air in an er, frightens allies and enemies around you in an area too. So really, you want an enemy, uh, someone that can like fly over al enemies and hit them, which is what I'm planning to do. Spoilers. And we've got you've got your Icarus bow and your Icarus bow gun, which are the most powerful one-handed weapons. And then you've got your Gorgon shield, um, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, which is uh, this? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. An angel shield crafted with the head of a Medusa mounted on it. Its malevolent, um, its malevolent gaze, undiminished in death so that one is oh also her blessing i'm um, sorry the goddess unleashed does um it's a fire it's a fire handed it's a fire it's a two-handed one-handed katana that does fire damage and it does augment fire plus three and it's soft ward which is really good soft ward is one is the best ward so um yeah next up is uh, Gorgon Shield, which is on armor, not this one. Gorgon Shield, it's the one of the better shields in the game. It's it's the second be it's the second highest defense. No, it's the highest defense shield in the game. The second highest attack shield in the game. I'm not sure what you want to attack. Gives you most HP as well. And then it does knockback, stone ward, and then evil eye, which I'm assuming, which is which we've already seen before. It's just like in if they can see the shield, they have the chance to get uh uh pet petrified. Got Sharper's Touch. Uh, arm guards forced by the Dragon Lord Artisan Daedalus, fitted with mechanism that absorbs the impact of blows. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Uh, Sharper's Touch. It does really. It has pretty decent defenses, honestly, for a thing. It does not the best defenses, but let's see. It, uh, I can't tell. It doesn't say anything. I can't tell exactly what this does. 
Um. Yeah, it just gives you really good attack. It just gives you max attack possible for a guard. I don't know if there's as any additional attack doesn't list it anyway. Uh, we get axe baited in north of town. Okay, we already read this. So this one. Let's go back to weapons. Don't know why axes are down here, but that's fine. What is this called? Valkenheim? I don't see it. Hmm. Does this count as something else? There it is. No, it's a si it's the sidearm. Okay, this is a sidearm. It looks like a... Okay, whatever. It's a two-handed sidearm. That's weird. Okay. But it does it does ice damage, which is the thing. It's the only sidearm that has a... Uh, it's the only thrown sidearm that has a type. And... Which is the only damaging sidearm, because the other one that has a type is a healing sidearm. Is, a healing blow, is the healing blowgun. It's 25% slow. It has effectiveness against humans as well. That's pretty cool. It does actually a 7 range too, which is insane. Pretty good. It has pretty decent attack as well, so that's... I didn't realize it was two-handed. I thought it was one-handed, so... You know, I guess since uh, Chamos already has level 8 sidearms, he probably should just be building this. And then Palace Guides. Again, our Heaven's Forks, which I already talked about. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I will be looking forward to using the Chrysogrim and the Goddess Unleashed. That'll be that'll be pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure about anything else. The f this one might get used as well. Um, that's really cool, but I, I probably want to be using Elemental for my Speed Builders. Maybe I'll, uh, there's going to be a next, another Speed Builder eventually that'll have something else as well. And then we got our Dragon Slayer as well. A Dragon Slayer, probably situationally. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we can get to the level to use these, because the level to use these is like 36 to 38, so we'll see. Anyway, now I can hit you with a real thank you for watching. And I'm looking forward to the next episode. See ya.